Hi, my name is Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a comparison video of the three universities that I've studied at. So I'm currently doing my masters at the University of Oxford. Before that I did my undergraduate degree at the University of Amsterdam in the Netherlands and during my undergraduate I went on exchange to the United States where I attended Hunter College in New York. So those are three countries that are totally different from each other and let's get into it. Oh, well, so first thing basically is that the University of Amsterdam is in Amsterdam, Oxford is in Oxford and Hunter College is in New York. That one is fairly easy. So first of all, the main difference that I encountered while attending Hunter College in New York was that the classes were actually mandatory to attend and it might sound really weird for all of you foreigners out there who are not from the Netherlands but the Netherlands has this weird thing where it's not actually really mandatory to show up for your classes unless the professor actively stated it was. Yeah I was quite struck by it going to New York that people were actually getting grades deducted from their great in order to like make them show up to class that was kind of like a new concept to me I <laughs> I never experienced anything like it um, so yeah that was actually quite a shocker and I needed to show up for literally everything which I was not used to um, same at the University of Oxford people do show up always for classes it is mandatory to show up uh, so the other one that's like closely connected to that one is that it's participation a hunter participation really is a thing and it is part of your grade while in Oxford participation is very much a thing as well, it's very much discussion based and at the University of Amsterdam is more of like a frontal instruction so in, in the seminars there's not a whole lot of participation that, like, that is expected from the student you kind of, at least in my degree, you just kind of note down what you need to know and then you just cram it into your head and then you just put it out there on an exam which is very different from kind of discussion style learning which is more of a thing in the US and the UK which goes hand in hand with the next thing which is preparation I definitely did not prep for every single seminar that I had at the University of Amsterdam and it's pretty normal for students not to have quite read everything at least on my course not everybody read everything I'm talking primary literature not secondary literature at Hunter more people actually came in prepared than at the University of Amsterdam and at Oxford even more people like everybody shows up prepared there is always maybe maybe there is like one or two people left who haven't actually read it but definitely a majority of two people have another massive difference is that in the US you can apply to a university without a major so you can just apply undeclared and start your degree undeclared at a university while in the UK and in the Netherlands you have to apply for a major which kind of goes hand in hand with the whole idea of a core curriculum like the UK my program was quite structured. Uh, there's not really a lot of space for me to venture out. I can like pick the modules that I want to do within the structure that is there. Um, and in the University of Amsterdam, I had a lot of freedom to pick whatever course I wanted. I do know that is slowly changing, that they're kind of forcing people more to take a minor instead of just random courses. And this kind of brings me to enrollment issues. The Netherlands does kind of have that. Uh, in the sense that if you want to enroll for a class that's not in your major which is not like a mandatory class for you it can become full and then you cannot register for that class so you always have to set your alarm wake up really early to register for classes that are not mandatory for you to take it's kind of similar at hunter only i have heard from other people at hunter that you don't have priority at hunter i've heard from other people at hunter that you can even end up with the issue that you're mandatory classes are full while Oxford because the program is so structured you don't really run into that issue and all three of these unis have a very different way of grading while in the Netherlands we grade from 1 to 10 Hunter grades out of 4 for undergrad and for postgrad it's 4.3 and in the UK at Oxford undergraduate degrees are graded with the third 2221 first kind of system and for postgraduate degrees it's graded from a fail pause merit distinction the University of Amsterdam is kind of dispersed throughout Amsterdam 
while Hunter is actually in one location and Oxford has more of that dispersed feeling but it's closer together so both Amsterdam and Hunter I'd say are city universities they're in a city they're not quite the main thing of that city uh, there's other things going on and in Oxford it is actually the main thing in Oxford is the university which makes it more of a bubble. This also results in both the University of Amsterdam and Hunter College being more of a commuter style school. People tend to show up for class and then they just like disappear off there. Which is probably also because of the lack of a campus. Like there is not re a real space to socialize. From in my personal experience at both University of Amsterdam and Hunter, I had to go actively look for some kind of forum to go socialize and hang out with people and make new friends. While Oxford, with the whole collegiate system, you're part of a college, which is kind of your tiny community within the university, which makes it a lot easier to socialize and creates more of this campus feel, even though Oxford itself does not have an actual campus as well. Basically, the uni basically Oxford, the city center, is your campus. Um, it's mainly university buildings in, in the city center, to be honest. It's, it's a weird one. Oxford is just a weird one. Probably another thing that comes with kind of the no campus type thing is school spirit. So the University of Amsterdam has literally zero school spirit. Uh, we don't have like competitive university sports in the Netherlands. That's just not really a thing, which also means that people do not quite feel that affiliated with their university. You cannot buy University of Amsterdam merch. I think at one point we had a store somewhere and I managed to buy myself a mug. And that's about everything I have that's branded University of Amsterdam. While a Hunter College has a bookstore with Hunter sweaters and t-shirts and backpacks and phone wallets and all that fun stuff. And obviously same with Oxford, you can buy a whole bunch of college branded items. Uh, from scarves to puffers to phone wallets probably to anything you can buy college branded. Even bucket hats, I own a college bucket hat. So yeah, not really a lot of school spirit in Amsterdam. Another weird thing is that at the University of Amsterdam it's really easy to take extra credit. While a hunter there is like a cap at the amount of credits that you can take or you need to apply for some kind of extension on that cap in order to make sure that you can apply for more credits. At Oxford, basically I, the workload is just so much that I have not even given it a thought of adding on an extra module to my degree. I don't think it's a thing at all. I do know that you can audit different seminars and classes if you wish to. I don't think you can actually keep the credits. Also, my at least my program this year, my master's does not really have a credit system at all. The Netherlands is a year is 60 credits. And in one year I managed to complete 96 credits, which is a bit extra. <laughs> and at Hunter College it's 30 credits for a year. Also both the University of Amsterdam and Hunter College are on the semester system, meaning that they have two semesters a year. Uh, Hunter also has kind of like a summer quarter in which you can take classes or extra credits and that kind of stuff. The University of Amsterdam does not really have that. Oxford is in terms, which means that there is three parts to the year and Oxford terms are very very short, they're only 8 weeks. For me personally they're 10 weeks because I'm a postgrad and I have a deadline in 10th week in my two first terms, my third one, I will not have the two extra weeks though. This also means that the year is the shortest at Oxford. There's only 105 days of class, that is excluding the weekends. While at Hunter there is 151 and at the University of Amsterdam there is 200, which is insane. I used to have just my Christmas break for two weeks and then July and August I had off, but they've recently changed it. As of this academic year they have implemented a spring break, which is very much to gain, so it's only 195 days of class. Another probably kind of weird thing is that I found it very easy to go abroad through the University of Amsterdam. They have two main systems, which is the Global Exchange Program and Erasmus. Erasmus is for within the EU and Global Exchange is basically for anywhere else in the world and I think it worked really well. I could just apply for a spot at a university overseas and the University of Amsterdam would make the decision on who was able to get that spot and I obviously applied for Hunter and I'm very happy that I got the spot at Hunter College. One of the things I really love about the Global Exchange program at the University of Amsterdam is that it's not 
like specific to your subject. Like I study French and I went abroad to Hunter College in New York and I made an argument about why I should go there and they were okay with that, which I think is really cool because a lot of different degrees at different universities will kind of set you up to go to the country of the language that you're studying if you're doing a language degree. So if not, you're probably fine. I've heard from other Hunter students that it's a bit harder to go on exchange. I have not really had a lot of experience with it. I did speak at their kind of international going on exchange type event and there was definitely not a lot of interest for it. Might just be that not a lot of people not a lot of people realize that they can actually do it. I don't know, but the option is certainly there and you can go to the University of Amsterdam because I came from there and they exchange students, so I would say go for it, use that opportunity to go there. And for the University of Oxford, I know for a fact that if you're studying a language, you have to do a year abroad, you have to go to the country of the language that you're studying, and you ha you can either, I think, go to a uni or you can do an internship or something along those lines, but you have to do something in that country. Also, one of the main things I found out is different abroad is that the fact that fails are not registered at the University of Amsterdam. So if you fail a class, it will not appear on your transcript, while if you fail a class, it both the US and the UK, it definitely will appear on your transcript. Also, I've noticed that at the University of Amsterdam, there is not really that big of a student support network. Obviously, I'm comparing this to Oxford, which has an amazing student support network. I think Hunter might be a little bit more in the middle. At least they had like things where you could just like pop in. So yeah, that was my comparison of these three universities. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it was a bit messy, but oh well. I hope you learned something from it. Every single country has their own kind of university system going on. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Maybe you're currently like very much into studying in the Netherlands and you know what's it like in comparison to your home country. You can like see more of the pros and cons of going to either of those three countries. Um, I hope this helped and see you next time. Bye!